Hello, so we are back Tuesday and we have a job, we have a water damage job, yeah? So we have a laptop, we came here, we're not turning on water damage. And we have the charger, we can check the charger voltage. Ground plus 19.3, you can see that on the screen. So plugging the charger in. <coughs> Let's plug the charger in. And we have no lights anywhere. I haven't opened the laptop so I don't know what is inside. It's a Russian keyboard. Pressing the power and nothing will happen. Yeah, no picture and no lights here. Nothing. Okay? So let's try to fix this. Let's open and see what is inside. This is a Toshiba <coughs> Tekra Z40-A-18R Yeah? Good Let's open this quickly Let's see if we can fix it It's not very damaged We can fix it if not, we're gonna start another job. Because obviously you can't fix everything. Usually when the, you have a water damage on the laptop, also the keyboard uh, is damaged. Not always, but usually. <clears throat> Good. Let's open the, but probably we have even here screws, yeah, on the hinge. It's logical, you know, has to be some screws on the hinge. Now we can take the back cover out. I can see on the battery connector some green stuff. Here on the charging port. Well, that's all. Yeah, on the on the back cover here, but it's not on the board. Let's take the battery out first, because water and electricity are not friends. Yeah, we have to take the battery out. I think on the other side is fine. But the board on the other side probably is fine. We'll see. Probably the water came from the back. Or the bios battery. Yeah. 
we have few ribbon cables here. Screen connector. Screen connector is fine. It's a good thing. Let's just have a look on the other side of the board, because till now I can't see a reason why this laptop is not coming on. If it's a reason, probably it's on the other side of the board. So I don't understand how this cable was plugged in. So we have the power cable which is plugged in on the other side and we have this cable which is plugged here and this which is plugged here. So how they are plugged on the other side? From the keyboard side? Hmm? No. From this side probably. And we have another cable here. Yeah, it's probably from the keyboard side. Okay. 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 And it's looking good. So what do we have? Just a little bit of water damage here, with just a little bit. And otherwise it's clean and nice. Yeah. So let's take our petrol. battery connector we don't need this let's see if you have any power on the board, yeah? What's this? This is the hard drive. We don't need the hard drive. This. This is the charging port. We need the charging port. This is, I don't know what it is. The screen, we don't need the screen. That's all, let's plug the charger. Well, let's check the voltage, yeah? Multimeter. The ground. And plus. And we have 18.9. On the power supplies, 18.9 you see switching power supplies 3.3 .3 power button uh, power button is not plugged in well, I have a capacitor here and I check 3.3 .3. so we have 3.3 .3.
Let's plug the power button. Uh, power button ribbon cable. Look, check here. Has a little bit of uh, plug thingy rust. We should be fine. But still doesn't explain why you don't have lights on the front panel. Lights, lights. LEDs, yeah? Let's see the LEDs connector. This and this. So either this cable is for LEDs and the processor is, got, is, is getting warm. It's very possible this laptop is on. Let's plug back this. Let's plug back the screen. And we have LEDs are on. Check the LEDs here. You see we have this on and we have here one more. In the screen, let's see if we have picture on the screen. The screen is plugged in. We have backlight, and uh, yeah, it's working. The BIOS has been re reset. Actually, it's no BIOS battery here, but everything looks fine. So what was the problem? I don't know. Hmm. I can't say what was the problem. Hard to say. Let's plug back this. I don't know why the fan is not spinning, but we'll check. Also, we have to be sure it's charging. Yeah. We have to try to start with the keyboard inside. Maybe we have a we have a keyboard problem. Who knows? I just want everything inside, and after that we can check again. Well, was just a little bit of water damage. Not not too much. Fan. All good? No. Okay. This connector. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Let's see if it's coming on. Yeah, we still have the LEDs here. And are on. Next step is the battery. I check the power button also if it's working, yeah? Power button. Yeah, it is on. Press the power button. And nothing happened. So what's two problems? First, was no light here on the on the panel. 
The second problem, the power button is not working. So now if I take out this and I plug it back, probably will not come anymore. Will not come on. And we have no lights. That's crazy. So that was the original issue. It's only one problem, the power button. You can see? Because now the BIOS battery is connected. The laptop will not start by itself without pressing the power button. Okay? If I'll take out the BIOS battery and I will plug the charger, the laptop will start will start by itself. But not if you have a BIOS battery there. So that's the issue. So now we have a dead laptop like before, like when the laptop came. So actually we clean it but for nothing. Actually it's not working. And press the boy you have no lights here. So that's a good thing. I'll tell you why. Because I was thinking, you know what, the battery is the problem here, and that's why the laptop is not coming on. But I'll, I'll actually it's the power button. And if it's the power button, it means it's not the battery, which is a good thing. So let's try to reach the, the power button and check some things. Oh yeah, check here. You can see how much liquid damage is. It's green. Here is green. And also we have the uh, the LED sensor, the lead sensor. So let's clean it. Can be fixed only by cleaning. Mm -hmm. Let's plug the charger now. No, it's still not working. Because I can see it's no lights there. Uh, if there are no lights, it's not working. Pressing the power button, nothing. And the lead sensor is here, so it doesn't know the lead is closed. So, no, it's not working. Let's check the voltage on the power button. Multimeter. Ground. And we have... We have nothing, and that's the problem. The problem, we have nothing. I can't see anything there. Because everything is too small. But we can check under the microscope. We have a resistor there. Let's check that resistor, yeah? Because the power on the power button is coming through. Okay, we have two resistors here. Let's check here. Here we have nothing. And this is a this is 3.3. So we do have something here. But here we have nothing. You see here is a truck. Yeah. You see, this truck is going here through the resistor and here. Very simple. So here we have voltage. 3.2, you can see on the screen. But here, we have nothing. Nothing, yeah. So from here to here, we have a problem. Most likely here on this solder. No, we still have nothing. 
So let's do some magic. <clears throat> okay. But wait, wait, wait. We are getting excited too soon. Because I understand. The truck is interrupted. By should have the lights on. So this is one problem. We have another problem. Because okay, I'm not pressing the power button. It's okay. But I should have the power... Uh, or maybe not. I should not have. Maybe not. Because we have no battery, so we have no charging light. Maybe not. But let's see. Let's wait for the solar item. Some colophonium or rosin. Where is my rosin? Rosin flux. Is here. Good. Now, I'm sure they put this resistor with a... Uh, I don't know, they... Uh, probably they put it... has some function here, I don't know. I don't care. I don't want it here, yeah? So I don't want this resistor here. We can modify the manufacturer schematic. It's healthy, you know, to modify the things. It's a lot to learn from this. Yeah? A lot to learn. So we have this on the end, yeah? So all what we need, we need a skilled, yeah? Keep in mind, skilled bridge, skilled. Okay? You keep in mind this, skilled. Not wire. It's too easy. Or maybe I should use a wire. Maybe I should use a wire. And the solder iron is too hot. And of course I can solder the thing. Look what is here. It's like, like a beginner job. Wow. Okay. So we need a skilled bridge. That's the name, yeah? But why the solder is not... Yeah, it is. No, something wrong with my solder iron, my, my, my tip on the solder iron. I think the temperature is too hot. It's too high, sorry. Temperature is too high. I try one more time. I can't do it. It's okay if you can't do it. Just take your time. This bit is not getting hot here. Nah, no. Look, look. It's 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 like the solder is running away from my. For my solder item. Or the solder wire is something wrong with my solder wire.
Let's try now. Uh, it's something wrong with the solder wire. Because Christian bought a lot of soldering thing, is doing its experimenting with doing experiments here with the solder wire. Let me find another solder wire, yeah. This is not good. First is not melting quickly, the second is just it's running away from my uh, I don't have another solar wire hmm? no Okay, I suppose I have to buy some solder wire. Let's go back. Let's use the Amtec flux. The thing is, I don't want a wire there. Because I'm trying to do a proper bridge here. So we have to use this, uh, this thingy. It's not getting soldered, that's insane. It's not getting melted. Okay, finally. Yeah, so we have the bridge. We have the bridge. Oh, the charger, it is plugged in. Ah, sorry, and the laptop is on. Okay. Uh, let's see if it's, wor if it's working. If we can shut down the, the laptop. By the power button, yeah? By the power button. By the power. So now I'm pressing the power button. And it's off, yeah. Pressing the power button and it's on, yeah. It's working fine. Let's put back this. No, I can't do it like that. Yeah, this is one screw, this is the second one. Good. Now let's plug the charger again. So the laptop is not coming on when I plug the charger. Yeah, we have no uh, lights here. Pressing the power button, and we have the lights, and it's working fine. Okay. All what we have to check now is if it's charging with the battery. Let's wait to see the picture on the screen. We have backlight and picture. Okay, you can see that. Battery because the battery connector was quite damaged. Plug in the charger, and we do have a light here, you can see. Let's see if it's charging multimeter. 
plus. So ground plus and nothing, we have nothing. How can I have on the minus truck on the black wire 3.3 .3 volts? Oh no, sorry, no, plus is here. Yeah, plus is here and minus is here. So we have 15 point something. Let's see, without the charger we have 15.8. So the battery is fine. Let's press the power button. And it's only in the charge. Look, we have the power on light. Let's wait to see the picture. Yeah, it is picture. Let's plug the chart, the the hard drive, and check to see if it's uh, loading the operating system. It's not like that. Like that. So the fault was only one, the power button, that's all. Pressing the power button and it's coming on. Oh, battery! Well, it's still working, it's still running. The fan is not spinning, okay, let's trick the fan after that. Uh, the power on is flashing. Maybe we have a low battery. Eh? Let me plug the charger. Battery T is plugged. No, well, something happened now when I dropped the battery. Yeah, now it's fine. Probably I moved the, the RAM memory. Because the battery just uh, flip over the, the RAM memory. Let's see. So what is saying? <coughs> F2 key, okay. 7 exit, F10. Yes, the keyboard is working, which is great. So it's no extra cost for the customer. Now it will save the change and it will start again. Let's see if it's booting. Yeah, it is. So it's working fine. The fan, the fan is not spinning. So that's our problem right now. 
And what do I ha want to check? The fan. Yeah. So let's get the hot air. And let's heat up the processor. Is still working? Yeah, it's still working. Yeah, the fan is it's working. You can see the fan is spinning. So the fan it will start spinning only when it's hot. Which is great. It's it's expected, but I didn't expect when you start the laptop, actually the fan is not spinning. Yeah? Okay. I'll stop now. Before I stop this video, I just want to just apologize for the last video. Yeah, it's on. Uh, it was kind of stupid. I realized after that, you know, it's, 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 I made that video without... It's, it's no achievement. It's, it's nothing to achieve there. It's just a stupid video, you know. It was stupid. It was completely stupid. Breaking something. It's, it's outrageous. Anyway, I spoke the second day. I spoke with, uh, with the owner and I said, you know what? Just give to someone else to do this kind of job. It's, it's not me. You know, you, you know when it's something, it's not you. you it's not me. It was stupid. It was completely stupid. And I, I regret it after that. After I upload the video and I read the comments and people say, oh, I'm crying. I wish to have that. I felt so bad, so bad. That's what. That's the reason why I took that video out. It was stupid from my, uh, from my side. I'm really sorry. That's true. It's very, very wrong to, you know, damage something which is working. But the world we are living in right now, it's, it's crazy. Like the other people said, you know what, probably by insurance thing. I didn't think, you know, it can trick the insurance. Crazy. I was thinking, you know what, probably he has some secrets there and that's the reason why he wanted to destroy the, 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 the laptop, the tablet, whatever it was. But yeah, can we, by this stupid thing, insurance, or someone uh, write on the wrote on the comments uh, probably because they will not replace the the laptop from work if it's not faulty possible but it's it's a stupid it's stupid anyway however you look from what angle you look it's still stupid okay so the job is done, all what is left is to put back the screws on the board, on the battery, and on the back cover. But take the things logical, like how I did. Checking the voltage, take out every connector, and check again. On our case, the power button was dead. Which we made a bridge, a very stupid bridge, like a beginner. Skilled. <laughs> no, that's a beginner thing. But we are still learning. We are still learning. Okay. I'll try to find a better job next video. This was nothing burned here. But you see, in this kind of job, like water damage. Most of the times, they just working, you just clean the things and they start working, but, you know, are there sometimes when actually components get burned. But on this one, it was nothing burned. Okay? So thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.